All right, Bob, we just watched as the crew loaded into the vans and they're heading out to the, um, they're heading out to the launch pad right now for, to train for the last time on Discovery. Uh, your first mission was on Discovery, on SDS-29. Um, you gotta have some thoughts on that. What's going through your head right, in, right now as, the, as you, you see her being prepared for launch for the last time? Uh, it's gonna be a little tough. Uh, you know, it's uh, my personal experience on it and, uh, and the memories that I have from the space flight and to realize that this will be the last time Discovery will go into space. Uh, a little bittersweet. You know, uh, you, you know that someday the program is going to come to an end, right. and, and you had to anticipate that. Actually having that take place and uh, come to fruition, uh, you know, it's exciting to see it launch. Uh, be glad to see it come back safely again, uh, but realizing that uh, the vehicle will be retired, it's going to be a little tough. It really will. Now, do uh, you have any, like, interesting experiences that involve Discovery you'd like to share with us? Well, there... Uh, the, the, the flight overall was uh, was so fantastic I and mean, it was uh, so in, incredibly intense. Uh, we were one of the first flights after the Challenger accident, so right. a huge backlog of experiments. Uh, we were just constantly busy. Uh, we had planned for usually about a 16-hour day uh, when we were up there. I ended up being busy for about 18 hours. Uh, my own personal experience, I'm, I'm one of those guys, I'm kind of a high energy person right. and uh, I hate to waste any of my time sleeping if I don't have to. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, there were two of us on the flight, uh, myself and, and Jim Bajan, where the rest of the crew was uh, asleep on the mid-deck. Uh, it was our chance to, uh, at, during the, the crew sleep period, to go up on the flight deck and just absolutely hog the windows and spend as much time as we possibly could and, and uh, looking out the window, taking pictures, and when you just got so incredibly tired you had to go to sleep, you just oh. folded your arms and, uh, and floated to sleep. And it was, uh, but it was a great experience. And, and uh, to wake up uh, as the sun would come, as you're going around and the sun comes shafting in through the window, it would wake you up and, and you look out and you realize, so once again, you're, you're standing there and uh, floating there in space and, uh, and, and just enjoying the most fantastic uh, view and the fantastic experience. So. Yeah, great memories uh, and something that uh, you know, I'm really proud of, uh, of the opportunity I had and, uh, and the chance to, uh, to serve my country in that manner. So it was special, very special. Now, we believe that 132 is going to be the last launch of Atlantis. That doesn't look to be the case anymore. Are you kind of, is it, is it kind of interesting or, or any, uh, I hate to use the word cool, but is it kind of cool for you to know that the last orbiter you flew on, Atlantis, now is going to wrap up the entire shuttle program's history. It will. That'll, that'll be special. I, I had not, in, you know, because that was an add-on flight, I had not anticipated that. So yeah, it's, uh, I was kind of peaked up for, uh, for this discovery mission, did not fly on Endeavour, uh, but now that Atlantis is going to take the last uh, rotation, uh, yeah, it'll be special too, uh, from, from the same type of thing. Uh, again, a lot of, uh, lot of memories there, and, uh, and uh, it'll, it'll be special, but it'll be, uh, at the same time, uh, when we've had that uh, last flight uh, of, of Atlantis now, uh, to see the entire program uh, come to a halt will, will also be uh, a sad moment, really will. Now, Bob, uh, there's we've got like a little less than a year before the program's over. I mean, are you going to, you live locally, are you going to try to like come out and see and do things out in the area and try to just soak, I mean, like a lot of us are, are in the area, they're trying to soak up as much as they experience, the, have, have the ability to walk through history while we can. Are you going to do the same thing in your own way? Oh yeah, I'll, uh, you know, because I'm, I'm here in the local area and uh, I kind of have a, a free pass, if you will, to come out here and, <laughs> and do the, the kinds of things. It'd be fun to, uh, particularly now, to, uh, to focus on the last uh, couple of flights and, and uh, to participate. I, I have been doing that for, for the last uh, six, seven years, uh, coming out here and, and doing those kinds of things. I'll, I'll, pay, I'll probably pay a little bit more attention to it now with the, with the final flights coming up. So yeah, I'll, I'll certainly take every, every bit of advantage of it I can. Well, Robert, on behalf of everyone at Space Vidcast, we really want to thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedule to share your experiences and your insights about what happens in the behind the scenes with uh, our folks that watch our shows, and we want to wish you all the best. Thanks. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Go thank Discovery. You. you bet. Go for launch.